Oh my god, that was so good. Hmm, not that easy sound. Alright, welcome to Alice Learn Stumps, where I endure the ultimate suffering by trying to learn and replicate most requested tracks and artists. So what will happen now is I'm just gonna sit down, learn and replicate whole song at one go. It will probably be a painful process, but who cares? We do it for the science and community. Let's go. Adam Beyer, the Swedish pronunciation. Let's listen a couple of tracks and pick one. I genuinely really love Adam Beyer's tracks, so let's go. Adam Beyer stabs the classics. Do we have something newer? Your mind is older. Very classic. I already made a tutorial about this one actually. This one, 2023, October 20. Oh yeah. That started good. A very recent track, right? It's like a month ago. Oh my god, that was so good! Yeah. If anybody asks me peak time techno track, it doesn't get any better than this. By the way, what a cool picture this is. Not like cheesy techno, you know what I mean, right? The just cheesy techno pictures. Okay, disclaimer, like I'm listening to this track for the first time. I'm gonna sit down now and try to figure out what he has done. So I'm expecting to be humiliated quite a bit. So hang with me. Let's go to Beatboard, get the track. Okay, dum 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 dum. Can't see the kick here and then we have a bass here, I think. I think it's like dum 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 dum. There is one trick that always works if you are having a hard time hearing the low end. All of the low end. Yulin loudness meter. This is what I'm saying. Dum, 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 dum. Let's get the kick first. Latin. Bring it down. Yeah, kind of did it. Alright, we got the kick. Aggressive fishbone kicks classics. Let's listen to the bass one more time. I think I'm hearing two layers one like sub bass and the other one like high on the sides. Let's try that. I think this is it, right? Make this warm. Pretty close, I will say. So if we go here, I think we have three layers in base total. Like we have here like a kind of noisy. Right and left. Kind of percussion comes together with the bass. I wonder if this is just high pass the same. Hmm, not that easy sound. I think we can try something like band pass. How plug is it? It's actually probably something like this. Locked it down. Getting there. Probably something like this. Probably need tons of distortion on top. Rather than panning right and left, I think it's more like this. Yeah. Then we have decided to put that as well. Maybe something like this. Here we go. Let's get the hats. Onyx Melodic Techno Samples. Open hats here. Get something like this. Shorten this up. Pretty stereo 16s. This probably has a bit of verb and major. It's like you also realize how beautifully it's, everything is done. Here's like a bit more open. Probably something like this. For now, I'm gonna keep it this way and then go for the off hat. Is Adam Bayer using our preset packs? Oh my god. Too stale. But turn this a bit down. I think we have to layer these two. It's close, close enough. 16 is a bit different. I think it's more shakerish than what we have. Almost like a tumbling. It's much 
more stay as well. Mm. I think something like this. I mean, it's not perfectly the same, but I think for now. We would call it a day, not when you edit time span in my world. Make it very before the room, Make it small. His hats are much more stereo than mine. Okay, let's open that up a bit more. That's fine. Here we have the main acid coming in. Okay, that one follows the sub like da -da 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 -da. I wonder if we can use something that we already have. We gotta get our side chains as well. Is there like another regular bass? Also the pattern here. It's more like this, right? We have, I think, a layer on finally almost side trancy. Maybe something like this. Try with this. Mm -hmm. I think it's also like this. I still want that donkey sound. Let's try something else. One. Do really have something like a format actually. Let's do it. We definitely have this type of format going on the base. Probably in the as it is well. Filter here before distortion and then get some format. You can prove the control here. It's slightly, slightly different, but we could probably manually format match it. But concept of format, aciding the base and rolling it with different patterns is what matters most. In this case, I think it should be good enough. If you're enjoying my suffering to replicate this track, consider like and subscribe. That kind of helps. All right, then let's take a look how the track develops. I think here the best part comes. Okay, let's copy these things that we had done over here. There's a clap it over here. Let's just put that. Something like this right here. Do this and then reverse like this. And reverb. Let's stay uh, small. Here we go, simple. When you have good samples, everything is easy, right? I just ripped the vocal, so we have this one. Uh, let's put some reverb, vintage reverb. We need to put this like boom, boom, boom. I think I have very similar stuff on my pigments pack. Obsidian. Here, that type of like angry leads. Probably less on the envelopes as well. Probably open this up. And decrease the amount. And then go like one down. Make it darker. Take this one here. Get something like this. again that type of form and stuff going on here it's also shorter there's big reverbs and so on multi filter here yeah it's also much stale let's keep this one as a 
they cut, take this one, alter a bit more. And this way I can keep the original one. Sometimes you get away from the sound that you want. Sometimes you get closer. Having a backup is always a good idea. All right, my camera didn't endure the whole process and die. So I think I get quite close. You have to switch to the waveforms to get that exact character. What is going on here? The first thing, it's actually our delicate asset sound, that asset sound we are using for the bass. What I did instead, switch to the waveforms and use the acid waveform into the triangle drift and out of FM. It's super delicate, so I don't want to move the things, but if I turn this off and turn this off as well, and I have this layer for noise, so I'm going to turn that off as well. Right, just triangle and I FM it from the B. And of course, the filter resonance here adds this out of feedback sound. The rest is pretty straightforward. And then of course, tons of distortion. And this, again, format filter, kind of formatize a little bit, a little bit EQ. And then we have this extra EQ, a bit more EQ, <laughs> and the final reverb. And then we have this noise layer, just noise from Serum, nothing that serious. With a distortion as well. And then finally I added this a bit bass layer. It's not doing too much, but anyway, together. I also realized the pattern changes again. It becomes into this again, I think this. Yeah, should be better now. It's so good, oh my God. The vocal and the lead aligning, something that gives you so much power. And then the track has this core part. For that, you have to have core library. Choir. Choir? Choir. Choir. You have to have some type of choir library. For me, I really enjoy the Native Instruments Choir Omnia. I think it's a great, great one. He may have used actually this one, the one I'm using. It sounded already straightforward, pretty same. Probably easiest way to deal with this part of things like just freeze, flatten. And then we have probably bottom choir layer as well. Then we have echo on top. We need one more choir here, native instruments. By the way, I have the links below for native instruments, I think. Here we go. Omnia, and then we have just bass choir here. Bass is here. It's like this, right? Uh, uh. Other way around, like this. Woo, almost done, almost done. What a track. Oh my god. Took a toll on me to make everything. And here we go, we have the verse part. Gorgeous, gorgeous track. This should be taught in modern electronic music classes. If you want this series to be continued, let me know in the comments. This is the only way that I know that you like it. And also, if you like it, let me know what should be the next artist and genre that we should learn. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more professional stuff, take a look in here. I have more.